Bill going. It's Jai, that Aussie metal guy here with crank.com and with that metalstation.com. And today I'm getting to have a chat with David Scholes of Exhumanator, who are due to drop their debut full length album, Human Waste, December 3rd, which follows on from the Rippin EP, Global Cleanse, and the latest couple of singles. They also done the virus single and uh, Human Harvest with a guy from Organectomy as well. So cheers for joining me, man. Uh, not a problem at all, Jai. Uh, first off, man, can you tell me a little bit about how you guys originally started? Because I'm pretty keen to f- find out where this kind of began from. Uh, sort of started out uh, 2018. I was going through a few uh, personal uh, issues myself. Um, instead of turning to the bottle, I turned to the guitar and started writing some some heavy tunes and not really anything in mind of where it was going to end up or anything like that. And uh about April of 2018, I met Ryan Dennis at a local metal show. We got chatting outside and yeah, not, not long after that, we started catching up and he started putting some lyrics over my my guitar tracks and whatnot. And it just sort of went on from there. Snowball from there. So are you guys based in the Wyala area or in the, that kind of regional area or down Adelaide way? Yeah, no, nah, we're based in Wyala. We're, we're all... Uh, Wyler boys, uh, except for Craig, he's from yeah, interstate, but we won't go there. Now, now, now yeah. he's from Queensland. <laughs> he comes from a pretty good heritage anyway. He was drumming with Warrior Within and he's over there in Shattered Hourglass, so it must feel good to have that connection. It must be hard. Like I know what it's like living in a regional area because I do myself in the Riverland, being a metalhead and kind of finding like-minded people that you can kind of start a band with as well. How is it like over there? Yeah, we're pretty uh, strapped for uh, like talented musicians over this way, um, especially ones that are into our genre of music. But um, we actually met Craig at our first show, which was a, a backyard show in my backyard, and he came along for a bit of a listen. And we just had MIDI, uh, we just had the drums playing on a backing track through the PA, and oh, he was disgusted. <laughs> he, he was like, you, you need a real drummer up there, you know, and. Uh, we got chatting and it wasn't long after that that we all sort of got together and he, he liked the music and we all get along pretty well. So, yeah. And and you also played, did you play your first gig recently together? Uh, we played not long after that show. We played down in Adelaide. Uh, yep. We supported High Ground and um, another South Australian band, uh, Dead Sun was on that show as well. And, uh, yeah, Craig actually learnt that set in like oh, a week. A week and a half or something. Yeah, he came down and he smashed it out. And yeah, after that, we were like, man, you got to jump on board full time, you know? Like, um, yeah, so he pretty much joined, joined the mix straight after that. Um, not too long after, we were gearing up for the uh, Metal United down under in Port Piri. And uh, the bass player that we had on at the time, he actually pulled out a, a week, week and a half out of that gig. And that's when Scott Hockey uh, jumped on board on the base for us. So and we've got a pretty solid lineup now and yeah, just keep pushing forward from here, I guess. Yeah, it must feel good having a little bit more of a solid lineup, having this album coming out, Human Waste, December 3rd. What was it like making this album? Tell us a little bit about, you know, making the album. Uh, pretty much the uh, writing started for the album um, while the mixing and mastering was happening for... Uh, global cleanse we're not sort of a band that fits around too much you know like we, we just keep pushing forwards and yeah throwing stuff out there for people to listen to and yeah we, we already had a few songs written uh, a couple of songs that didn't make it onto the album that are still sort of sitting away in the dropbox somewhere and yeah i don't know it's sort of mainly uh, written by myself again um skinner's written a song on the second album whereas the first album was uh, written by myself and yeah. ryan dennis um we actually got jake sprawl to drum on the second album again that was sort of locked in well we, we've struck up a pretty good friendship with jake you know he drummed on the first album and smashed it out so yeah we asked him sort of before craig was in the mix whether he was interested in drumming on this one as well and he was keen to jump on board and yeah, he smashed it on this one as well um craig's uh he's a talented drummer and he's picking up all of his parts pretty well and yeah, we're smashing it out. We're practicing pretty solid, getting ready for this gig uh, next Saturday. Yeah, it must be good to kind of be hitting the mark with your music as well. Like your page is up on eight 
thousand <laughs> likes and that. And I notice you're also getting a fair bit of airplay and you know spins all over the place. It must feel good for you guys being a while of this metal band, busting your ass and your music kind of being well received. Oh, absolutely blown away by the response we're getting from. Uh, especially at, at live shows, you know, the people coming up to us at the end just saying, love the energy. And, you know, we're over in Perry, we had guys crowd surfing and buddy like sculling beers on their back, you know, and uh, it's awesome to see, you know, I'm, I'm just a country boy, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. It must awesome be good getting metal to, to to that regional area as well. I know Craig and um, Dan with False Flag, and I'm seeing some more and more metal shows popping up in the Wyala and Port Piri area. It must be good for you being a metalhead, kind of seeing people kind of leading the charge and the push to get metal like a little more in the regional towns. Oh, yeah, definitely. And uh, we, we're trying to do our part as well. Um, the show that we've got uh, coming up next 11. weekend, we're actually... We're actually bringing a couple of bands down from Adelaide, um, Syntropy and uh, Tunnel Vision. Uh, we, we've already shared the stage with them in Perry and, and Adelaide, respectively. And, yeah, they're, they're some brutal bands, like great guys. You know, we're, we're going to have one hell of a show, you know. Be, be stupid to miss it. Yeah, that's the album launch on the 11th over in Wyala, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, West Sands Soccer Club, go, uh, doors open at 7 $15 to get in. For awesome heavy bands come along support local music yeah and the first two singles man i want to chat about them man the first one public execution a lovely little ditty about slaughtering pedophiles man because they well deserve it that's for sure yep that's something that we, we all agree on with that one for sure <laughs> we definitely yep. that, was, that was a killer track tell us about that one man kind of how, how was that one to make and that was the first single i believe off the album was it it was actually the first single. It was actually the last song written for the album. Um, <laughs> it just, uh, I suppose, the lyrical content and everything, you know, we, we try and uh, shock people um, as much as we can, you know, without sort of pushing the boundaries too much. Um, yeah, it's something that sort of, yeah, I, I believe a lot in, you know, like protecting young children and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just thought it was, it was, just the perfect song to drop, you know, like we, we've actually got a, a merch design sort of lined up when we get a bit more money in the band account that is going to um, shock a few people, I think. Well, that's the go. Everyone get along and buy the bloody album. Where's the best place people can go and buy the album? Speaking of that, it's perfect time to drop that in there. Yeah, uh, the album drops on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Tidal, Deezer, YouTube, everywhere on December 3rd. Uh, you can go over to our band camp. Um, I think it's pay what you like over on band camp. So you can give us a dollar. You can get it for nothing if you like. Um, Dig in the wallet and buy it so we can get that sick merch, dude. <laughs> that's the go. Yep, support local music. Um, we're also going to have physical copies available on the launch show and probably on our Bandcamp page uh, as of Friday. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, I like Bandcamp. I, I do talk a bit about Bandcamp, but just about every interview I drop it in there because, you know, it's all good to get those digital fucking listens. But for me, I love getting over and buying an album. I've bought shit tons of digital albums, even though, you know, sometimes I can't quite get the physical. I still go buy the digital because I'm slamming down money for the bands and supporting the scene. And I know that goes straight into the band Giddy. Yeah, that's exactly what it's all about. Buy, buy the merch, you know, buy the albums, physical copies, support the bands, you know, because it, it costs money to do what we do. And, um, you know, like we're, we're, we're doing it for the fans, you know, like we, we love hearing the feedback and we love getting out to different areas and playing to different people and all of that costs money. And the best way that you can support us is by buying some merch and, yeah, helping us out. Yeah, 2022 must looking good because the borders are slowly opening up here in Australia. Fucking hopefully everything, you know, kind of settles down a bit and it's good to see these big bands coming in. But, you know, it's going to be good for you guys to actually get over to states like Melbourne and Brisbane and Sydney, which I'm sure you are all really fucking keen to Western Australia and Perth. And you know what I mean? Yeah. It must be good for you guys thinking, man, I can finally start the tour and like dropping this album in December. I may be able to string together a little tour behind it as well 
Yeah, we've we've actually already been in talks with um, some other bands and uh, booking agency about maybe doing a little East Coast run. And um, I got friends over in Western Australia playing Dripped and uh, Septic Piggery. So you know, pretty inter- pretty keen to get over there and jump on a show with those boys as well. Yeah, how good a drift! I grabbed that album or the EP, and the um, I got the shirt and the whole little bundle for that man. That was some heavy stuff, man. There's some good fucking metal coming out of Australia, and slam the slam coming out of here is just fucking unreal, dude. Some of the breakdowns are just insane. Oh, definitely. On our upcoming album, Human Waste, you probably yeah see a, a few more of them slam sort of slow, chuggy riffs. You know, in a few of the songs, there's still a lot of that thrash sort of element in there. Um. Yeah, we're sort of death metal slash death core band, but yeah, we, we take influences from everywhere. Uh, I'm I'm a bit older, older guy in the band, so I bring in a bit of the older thrash and old school death metal sort of elements. And a couple of the younger guys in the band, they bring more of the hardcore death core sort of vibe to it. So it, it, it's a good mix. Yeah, and speaking of Slam, you had Chris from Falvardinia appear on the, the track Grackhaw, man. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, Chris is one of my favourite guitarists. He's a real inspiration. And uh, there I just reached out to him, said, I've got this song. Yeah, I'd love for you to lay a solo on it. And yeah, what he, what he brought back was, yeah, it just adds a whole other dimension to the song and it's a really fun one to play. It's an, another song about, you know, a, a bird that's high on drugs, neglecting a child, you know, like th- there's some pretty real life um, topics on the album. So def- definitely buy a physical copy and, and read some of the lyrics and, you, you know, some, some of these songs got some real meaning to them. Yeah, they don't pull any punches, eh? that's for sure. And you wouldn't nah. expect any less from Exhuminator, man. Uh, that's the way we like it. Uh, artwork, you, the artwork always looks pretty sweet with you guys, man. Who did you get to do this one? Uh, it's a singer from a band, Wormed. Um, uh, JL Ray, I believe his name is. Um, Fledgedon Artworks, Art Studios. Uh, he he did the artwork for the first album, and he did such a great job that uh, I, I reached out to him again for the second album. Um. He's done art for bands like uh, Hortopsy and, and and the like. So I sort of reached out to him from there. Um, yeah, if you, you've had a look at the album art, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I've got it right here. I'm looking at it right now. Human Waste, man. It's killer. It's got the like, hobo pushing the trolley. He's got the arm coming out one side, a bit of a leg. and <laughs> Yeah, if you, if you notice the building in the background, yeah, ah, oh, snow town, dude. Body in the, the barrels. Snow- Body in the That's- barrels, dude. <laughs> no yep. shit. No shit, yeah. dude. <laughs> that was our second single we dropped uh, last Friday. Um, there's a video up on on YouTube. Uh, it's a song all about uh, the snow town murders. Um, it's called Barrel of Laughs. Uh, yeah, it's just. That was pretty, pretty flat out from start to finish that one. That, that's the latest single. Those are the two I'm going to play on the show as well when I play this interview over on that metal station, man, for sure. Yeah, awesome. Do you have any tracks, man, that really stand out for you? I know it's like picking a favourite child, but like this week, which one's your favourite at the moment? Uh, from both albums or the singles or the, album, the new the, album? The, the, the new album coming out, man, Human Waste. Oh, the new album... I'd have to say Flesh, flesh hung, Hungry Homeless. It's yeah. probably, probably be my pick for, of the whole album. It's probably the funnest one to play. Awesome. David, this has been an absolute pleasure, man. Hoping to catch up with you soon at a show, man. Thank you very much for making some time to have a chat with myself, Crank, and that metal station about the album. And Exhuminator, do you have any last word, shout outs, or thank yous you'd like to add in there, my friend? I just like to thank you everyone for tuning in and listening and support Jai the Aussie metal guy and crank and support local music. We can't do it without you. Awesome. Everyone go out, grab Exhuminator's album, Human Waste. It comes out December 3rd. Yeah, you can stream it, but go over and buy some merch, buy some music, support the scene, crank it loud. Neighbors going to want to hear this one. Cheers, mate.